In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And today, my dear friends, as we come to celebrate this Eucharist, in the scripture we are reminded that Jesus came not to judge, but to save each one of us. And so let us pray for that grace to accept the invitation of the Holy Spirit to enter into that covenantal relationship with God, bringing everyone to that salvation. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner by recalling to our own minds our own unworthiness, our own sinfulness, and ask for God's pardon and mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. Then after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, a member of the court of Herod, the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John also to assist them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm let our response be, O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God be gracious and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, and your saving power among all nations. Response, O God, let all the nations praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Response, O God, let all the nations praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God continue to bless us. Let all the 
ends of the earth revere him. Response, O God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Although Jesus had performed so many signs in the presence of the people, they did not believe in him. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into this world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge, for I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak, and I know that his commandment is etern eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A native elder once prayed, O Creator, help me never to judge another until I have walked a mile in their moccasins or shoes. Judging someone is easy and at the same time it is difficult to accept when someone judges us. And today in the gospel we hear that Jesus clearly saying that he has not come to judge the world but to save the world. A person who wants to save others does not judge them but finds ways to protect them from the punishment. Many of us grow up with an understanding of a cruel or harsh judgment of God, God who is waiting to punish us. But in fact, a Christian understanding is contrary to that image of God. Today, Jesus invites us to believe in God who is love and merciful. And he himself, becoming human, has walked in a human way, not to make us gods, but to make us humans. And so today, let us give thanks to God for this great gift that Jesus brings to us to become human. And God wants us to live in that light so that we should not remain in that darkness, in our sinfulness and death. When we feel that guilt and fear of God's judgment, we invite you to remember the words of Saint John of the Cross who said, In the twilight of life, God will not judge us on our earthly possessions or human success, 
but on how much we have loved. We can witness this message of Jesus in reality in the life of the first Christians who found the light of Jesus Christ and they continue to spread the message of God's love. In the first reading, we listen to the Holy Spirit inviting Barnabas and Saul to a particular mission to proclaim the good news of Jesus to all people. All of us are called by God for a particular ministry. We pray today for the gift of the Holy Spirit that he may guide us in our ministry and bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Let us pray today for various needs. We pray for ourselves a greater awareness of God's enduring love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for all who live in that fear of guilt and darkness. May they see the light of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for all who are suffering due to this pandemic. We pray for healing. We pray for better relationship. We pray for protection of all workers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving Father, we offer you all these prayers and those prayers very deep in our hearts. We offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, we have made us par partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Jesus never ceases to offer himself, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. Jesus is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. 
Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy and the entire people of God. I would like to offer this Mass for all of your personal intentions, intentions of thanksgiving for healing and repose of soul of someone who has died in your family or in your community. In a particular way, we offer this Mass uh, for the uh, repose of soul of uh, Teresa Chen and Mariana Chimana, for the intentions of uh, Lisa, uh, her husband, and Charlie, and the intentions of uh, Faye Santos, um, Maria Tavier, Alicia Francisco, Aurin Nimok, and also for Thanksgiving Mass um, for the intentions of Connie and Hugh Lee. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all your saints, especially Saint Louis de Montfort, whose feast we celebrate today, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of God's peace to those who are closest to you. And let us extend the peace of Christ to those who need the most. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ to bring us life everlasting. Amen. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of the risen Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>